boys, and welcome to another exciting edition of Reading Ranch. Schedules, right? Who needs them? My name is Katie Hunt, and I take my mother's more questionable literature and give it a five-minute review based solely on the content on the back of the book and some of the excerpts inside. It has been a while since we've had an episode. My mother went on vacation again, so obviously I can't film if she's in the house because then she'd find out about it. And then we'd get cancelled. So, sorry, but we are back at it now that woman is at work again without any foreseen vacations to delay us further. And I have found a book that kind of rips off uh, Outlander a little bit. It's like the fan fiction of Outlander. And it is The Last Debutante by Julia London. Oh, hey, wait. There it is. The Last Debutante by Julia London. And the only reason that I say I feel like it's a bit of a ripoff is I was looking through it to look for excerpts, and the main character guy's name is Jamie. Which I'm pretty sure that is the guy from Highlander's name, too. Must have been a popular Scottish name. Who is the captive and who is the captor? When a sexy laird holds a spirited English lady for ransom, she turns the tables and steals his heart. The last person Daria Babcock expects to find in her grandmother's home is a brawny, naked Highlander. She doesn't buy Mammy's explanation about finding the poor man shot in the woods. Nor does she trust the gorgeous laird who insists his own memory fails him. But Daria came to Scotland looking for adventure and romance, and after the intriguing stranger kidnaps her, she gets her wish, and so much more. Gets kidnapped. And then suddenly magically falls in love with the guy that kidnapped her. That's not what happens in real life. Let's just dive right into it, shall we? Um, I'd like to point out before we get started that some of the other books that this woman has written The Year of Living Scandalously, The Seduction of Lady X, The Book of Scandal, Highland Scandal, The Courtesan's Scandal. Those last three are part of the Scandalous series, so pick it up. Oh, please, Mama. The summer will be tedious enough without having to graft orchids for the two of you. I'll go, she said suddenly. It has seemed such a brilliant idea, the perfect solution to her dulliums. A summer in Scotland, away from the Hadley Green and all of her happy friends and their beautiful babies. But her mother said instantly, that's absurd. Those two words had sealed Daria's determination. What was absurd was to continue on as she had been. Why, she demanded. I'm perfectly capable of carrying a bit of money, and I've missed Mammy terribly. She's not been home in ages. To begin, you cannot travel all the way without your parents or a chaperone. What would people think? You're going alone, by yourself, unmarried? But people will know! So she gets to Grandma's house, and then there is a naked Scotsman there. And her grandmother doesn't seem to see anything wrong with that, letting strangers into your house, and she's freaking out about it. Which again, nowadays, you go to your grandma's house and she's like cool with some naked guy in her bed that she's taken in off the streets. You'd be calling the cops on that. But not in this book! I believe your wounds have impaired your sense of propriety, sir, she said with a pointed look. Jamie smiled. Perhaps a wee bit, he con conceded. Oh, I suppose I'd be talking like a Scotsman, shouldn't I? I'm not good at accents. I don't want to... I'll try. For you guys. Perhaps a wee bit, he conceded. I hear a man outside, eh? I sound like this cross between Canadian and British. She did not respond except to frown, then lean into him once more to unwrap the bandages. Who was it then? No one. No one, she repeated. A passerby, he said, leaning in to reach around him once more. Aye, and what did the passerby want, he asked as he breathed in the scent of rose water. She hesitated in her work and then said softly, You? Jamie bent his head to see the wound the old woman had inflicted upon him. 
He probed in gingerly, wincing in pain. She gasped. Don't touch it. It's not as bad as I feared, he said with some relief. The lead went through. Oh, wait. Grandma shot him. <laughs> Go, Grandma. Daria found it impossible to think, smashed up against Campbell as she was. She was in her bedclothes, for heaven's sakes, being kidnapped and carried across the mountain of Scotland by a band of rough men. Her plight grew more dire as the landscape through which they moved took her further away from meaningful society. From civilization. Meaningful society. It's like a teenager being dragged out to camp if they don't want to go. No! My computer! Laptop! Thanks, Grandma. He clawed at Campbell's arm. Help me! I've been kidnapped! I do not belong with these men! They have taken me against my will. Campbell reined up, and for a slim moment, Daria thought she'd won. But that hope evaporated when he said, How are they fighting them, lads? Fair enough, the older of the two men said. He trapped his pole between his legs, then doffed his hat, running his fingers through a thick crop of graying red hair. Daria's anxiety choked the air from her lungs. Do you not hear me? She cried breathless. These men have kidnapped me and intend to hold me for ransom. Aye, we heard you, the fisherman said. <laughs> wow. They're like, yeah, it's Wednesday. You got kidnapped. You're like the fifth person this week. The blah, blah, blah. Grandma sucks. Got me kidnapped. He still hurts. Hopefully I am growing interested in him. Shocking. I lost my fiance. Your fiance? How did you lose her? In the usual way, he said, smiling a little. She cried off, since her brother had just been stabbed by my brother. Hmm. That'll do it. Oh, she's seducing him. She was lush. Her lips, her body, all of her. He anchored one arm around her and pulled her close. This woman was irresistible with her smile and her glittering eyes, and Jamie kissed her with a surrender that surprised him. I swear to God, I watched this on Highlander the other night. I'm not even joking. But they only make him now, and he sent her on her way. Not today. We're not married. See? Back in the day, you waited. I don't know why. A deep sigh of pleasure escaped her. She dug her fingers into his shoulder. She arched into him, her legs moving against his, pressing against his erection, sliding over it until he was aching with need. He slid his hand down her body, caressing the flare of her hips, her leg, and then sliding between her legs. Daria gasped. Okay, so much for waiting. With his mouth and his hands, he slid down her body, leaving a hot, wet trail. Ugh. Ugh. It's like slobber trail. Her legs squeezed against him, but Jamie hooked his hands around her legs and pulled them apart and began to lab her with his tongue. Oh, we all know what lab means, folks! <laughs> Please see my other video. Aye, something's happened, Jamie said. Your rescue has come. <gasps> dun, dun, dun! But we just started to like each other! And we just started having sex! And I'm in love with you now! I don't want to be rescued! Where are these people? What are chapters ago? You know, this gets one cowboy hat because honestly, I was going through it and it's a lot of talking and it's a lot of boo-hooing and it's a lot of, you captured me and I don't love you. And it was like pretty prominent. And then all of a sudden it's, oh, your fiance left you and you're not that bad a person. And I've fallen into the trap. I'm all set. This was Julia London, The Last Debutante. And personally, like I've been saying this whole video, if you want a good story with an awesome, sexy Jamie, I would very much look into Outlander, the book series, and the TV show. And that's it. So, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below. Put a thumbs up on this video. You can follow me on Twitter at juggles underscore geese. You can also follow me on Instagram at jugglesgeese21. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you later, cowboys.